Hey guys, it's Prophet Chanel here, and I want to come and just really reiterate something that I've been, the Lord has given me to speak about, but I see that, you know, a lot of things are happening, and I think people are just, you know, they're going with their desires more than what the Lord is speaking. So I want to say, um, the Lord had given me a warning concerning a couple of states in different countries um, that it wasn't time for them to open, and he began to release words to me, but I want to say this, um, especially for the United States of America, because a lot of our states are starting to open and please please listen people of God you know I know if you if you're not maybe you're not a believer um, in, of Jesus Christ maybe you're not familiar with these you know things but I just want you to really hear what I have to say concerning this please believe me when the Lord is speaking that this this is what that he is saying it's not time for us to come out it's not time for us to come out yet. It's not for us. It's not time for us to open back up the stores. It's not time for us to open back up the states. Governors, it's not time. It's not time. The Lord is the one who called this shut in. He's the one who allowed this this virus to come. And it's a purpose in it. And there was another video that I said. I said this thing is not going to leave until it's accomplished what the Lord set it out to do. When God when God sets to do something, it's always for a purpose and it's for a reason. We may not fully understand God's ways, but we know that his ways are perfect and his ways are past finding out. And believe me when I tell you, we might have saw this thing come, but the next one that's coming is going to be far worse. I remember before um right before this the um the coronavirus um really began to to hit the americas and the lord began to give me visions and in the visions all of my visions it would be dark outside like pitch pitch, pitch black but in the daytime it was in the daytime but it would still be dark and the lord began to reveal to me um what that meant and he said we are in times of darkness and the gross darkness has filled the earth according to isaiah chapter 60. so now the lord has been showing me that there's a storm coming and i, I was hearing this song a couple of weeks ago there's a storm out over the ocean and it's moving this away if your storm if your soul's not anchored in jesus you will surely drift away and the Lord began to take me into this place and began to reveal to me some things that were about to happen. And he began to speak to me this word. And the word um, he began to speak to me was the word carnage. And as I began to dream, now it's like I began to have dreams. And everywhere there's rain everywhere. It's just raining. And this rain is not a light rain. It's a hard rain. I said, Lord, what is that? And he said, it's carnage. And I had, he had been speaking that word to me, but I didn't go look it up. And I finally looked it up. And what the word carnage means is this. It's a death of a lot of people. What's coming next? We think that this was difficult. We think that this took a lot of lives. What's coming next is going to be so much worse than what we're seeing right now. Why? Because the Lord is the one who put the shut in. He purposed it not only for the businesses, not only for the airlines and the cruise industries, but also for the church. We are not exempt. And, and the fact that they've closed some churches down, they not, have not allowed them to maybe open except but to have 10 people in there is is not is not an attack on, on, on religion or place of a wor of worship. It's not a religious persecution. And I know some people are coming and saying that that's so, but it's not because if they shut down the nail shop, um, how is it that they're per they're persecuting us? They're not alienating us. They're only they're not only closing the churches. They're not saying that we can't speak one thing or we can't preach this they're not they're not um censoring you know the things that we say on social media or you know our preaching through facebook they're not doing that is this is not a religious persecution god has set this and he's ordained this time for this shut-in why so that people can come back into him that they can re gain their focus on him that they can come into a place of sensitivity to his voice and to the word of God to the things of God so that we can get our priorities straight because a lot of our, our priorities have not been in alignment with the will of God and because God allowed this shut-in to happen now our priorities are coming back into alignment that is why he he called for this shutter. But I'm telling you, what's coming next is going to be absolutely nothing compared to what we're seeing right now. Because they're opening up the shops, do not people of God, especially leaders, do not get comfortable. Do not get confident in what they're trying to do. The word of the Lord will always stand. Though they try to push money into it, 
It's not going to happen. We are going to see rain. It's going to be a day of rain. It is going to be a day of rain. And this day of rain is going to come because this, this virus is going to come back into another force. There's going to be such a force behind it. It's going to take a lot more lives than what it took now. And it's going to come in such a force. It's not, it's not going to be um um as it was like you know with them it's i'm trying to um, understand the words that i'm saying it's going to be much more contagious it's going to be much more quick to pass on to people it's going to be and some people have it where they they gotten it but they're asymptomatic it's not going to be like that it's going to be a lot more lives lost and a lot more lives taken by this virus because they are not paying attention to what the lord is saying this economy listen our money this economy is never more important than a man it's never more important than life we cannot put anything above life life is important god will take care of his people he said in his word in, the, in, in matthew he said life is much more than what you put on what you eat or you drink he said he will take care of us and i know many people you know they want to get back to their jobs and things of that nature and i understand it but you have to understand god's ways and his will and what's coming next there is going to be a rain that's going to come and it's going to come there's going to be a rain of sickness and disease that's going to come the plague will continue it's going to be a, a, a rain of natural disasters we are going to see natural disasters come from one corner of the earth to another listen to me it's going to be this it's going to be such it's going to be in such a way it's going to be unexpected. It's going to happen unexpectedly. We are going to see storms forming. I saw one day the Lord began to take me up and I went in prayer and I saw um, like um, you see like on when you look at the news and the meteorologists are there showing you like the wind. They, they have the picture there with the um, high and low pressure. I saw a band forming from um, the, the east side of Florida, the Atlantic. And I live in I live in this area, the east side um, of Florida and the, and, and the Atlantic Ocean. It was coming into the Gulf and I saw the wind, the shift coming into the Gulf. We are going to see a major storm come to the Gulf in this region. It's going to be a major Category 5 storm that is going to come into our region. There is going to be earthquakes, natural disasters. It's going to be rain that is going to come. I'm telling you, it's going to be rain, Bob, because the Lord said it and His will shall prevail. We are in the end times. This is the beginning of sorrows. This is the beginning of the travail of the labor pains. The earth is in groaning. And if you, you must believe the word of the Lord. The Bible says these things must come come we cannot pray this away many of us are trying to pray it away and it's not the will of the father listen when peter came to jesus and said no lord what are you speaking about you can't go to the cross listen jesus looked at him straight in the face and he said get thee behind me satan that's what he told them you cannot pray against god's will this is in the bible it's biblical he said it's going to come he said these things must come first we must always stay in a position to pray god's will maybe you didn't think that you were going to be living to the end times maybe you didn't think that you were going to be in this dispensation but god has set you there for a reason if he allowed you to live in this end times it's for a reason you must must ask him God's will for your life. Why did he allow you to see these things? These things that the prophets prophesied that they wish they could see these things that they, that they begin to speak that they have, that they did not have the ability to look into. Now we are looking into it. Like the apostle Peter wrote, we are seeing the things that they begin to prophesy come to pass in this nation and in this earth. And so I'm telling you, we must be fully aware. We cannot be in a rush to go out. My family is staying in our church. Even some of you churches, listen, the next shutdown, we think this shut in and this shutdown is, is bad. The next shutdown is going to be so much worse. There is going to be a, a higher level of restrictions that is going to come with the next shutdown. There is going to be a high level of restrictions. And I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you what the Lord showed me from the beginning of it, because he began to speak to me before they begin to do the shutdowns. He said, they're going to be, you have stepped into the periods of isolation. He said, there, there's going to come a time. They're going to put you into isolation. They're going to let you out for a little bit. And then they're going to put you right back in. And we are seeing this happen. They're letting us out, but I'm telling you, we're going to go right back in. And this time it's going to be worse. A lot of the churches did not obey the shut in. They didn't, they're not protecting their members, but I'm telling you this, the next one, they are not going to allow us to go into the building. It's going to be so much worse. And there's going to be a worse, um, um, I'm trying to find the word. The word I hear is persecution, but there is going to be a, a, a harder enforcement that is going to come along with it. It's not just going to be just a curfew. They are going to enforce it. We are going to see the military. We are going to see the policemen patrolling. We are going to see in a greater way, in a greater capacity because of the carnage that is going to come because of the transmission is going to be greater. It's going to take people a, a lot harder and faster. I'm telling you it's coming. And the Lord said it because we have not, we have not tapped into the spirit. We have not tapped into the realm 
around to see what God is saying concerning this. We still going about things as normal and usual, casual, thinking that, thinking that this is just the first wave and then we're going to see God's glory. No, this is not it. God's glory is not here, to, is not come yet. We have to wait on it. We have to wait until uh, some other things take place. There is suffering that is going to come and do suffering. Men learn obedience. Then we will see the glory of God come. We're going to see the glory. We're going to see sound wonders and miracles, but it's not there yet. It's not there yet. We have not stepped into that place yet. And until the people of God, until the children of God come into a place of hearing God, being receptive of his spirit and not going into the place of the soulless realm and not coming into the place of the flesh and what we desire and what we think and what we want, we are not, we're going to miss it. We're going to come up one step behind. It's not time to come out. It's not time to come out. I know many will not agree with what I'm saying. They're going to let you, but we're going to come right back in. And this time it's going to be worse. Why? Because I see that there's going to be a high level of insurrection. I heard that word. An insurrection is, is an uproar or a, um, a revolting uh, against government, a rebellion against government. And we are going to see a lot of these people, like we've already started to see, they let them out and they're trying to put them back in and they're going to have a harder time trying to put them back in than they did the first time. Because he said it like that. He said us to come in, for us to come, families to come back in, marriages to come back in, children to come back in. He said us to come back in. He's the one who said it. So people, I'm telling you, stay in the place that God put you. Do not get comfortable. Do not put your guards down. Do not allow uh, the temptation of you wanting to go back to the way it was. Because I'm telling you, this earth has been turned upside down and it will never go back to the way it was. It will never go back to the way it was. We are going to see a day of rain. There is going to be a day of, of, of mourning. There is going to be a day of wailing and weeping that is going to come upon this earth. And if it's not one thing, it will be another. If it's not sickness, it's going to be natural disaster. If it's not that, then there's a famine that's coming. It is going to be a day of wailing and it shall come forth just as Isaiah prophesied it, just as Jeremiah prophesied it. It's coming. So people of God, stay focused, stay in prayer, stay in worship and stay in the word. Stay that place. God bless you. Please share like this video if you would like to share with the people of God. But listen, please stay in a place of obedience with the spirit of God. You guys have a good day.